Hello friend, I am Naval. You are watching Code with Naval. Welcome to Java series part 79. In our last video, we saw what is the framework, what is the collection, and why collection. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic overview of collection. We will discuss everything in detail in upcoming videos. But in this video, we will see basic overview of all collection classes and interfaces. Okay. So let's start one by one. Okay. Here you can see collection. Collection. All collection and collection subclasses introduced in a 1.2 version. But before that, before introducing this collection, we have two classes. We have a vector and we have a stack. Those introduced in a Java 1.1 version. Before collection, we are simply using these vector and stack classes. But after collection, those two classes are considered as a legacy classes. Okay. Legacy means Java don't recommend to use those classes and most of developer not using those legacy classes. Okay. Because legacy classes means we can simply say Java don't update those classes in a new features. Okay. Those are old classes. This here in this collection framework, in this collection framework, there are two legacy classes vector and stack okay uh, let's discuss one by one collection introduced in a 1.2 okay then inside a collection there are three child interface list queue and set initially inside in the collection only two child classes list and set and in a java 1.5 uh, we can say there is one more interface added queue okay so let's uh, why collection what is the collection okay why uh, this collection interface in a collection interface java define all common method whatever common method we use throughout the collection classes and interface all those common method here define in a collection interface okay after this collection interface come first then they define a one more uh, interface okay over the collection this this one is nothing but iterable okay this iterable use for iteration okay iterable use for a iteration okay then collection okay inside a collection we have a three list queue set okay let's see one by one this list uh, we already know whatever common functionality whatever common method we already introduced we already defined uh, those common common thing all common thing we are using throughout all classes those all common thing define inside a collection interface okay now collection interface divide in a three part okay first part there is my requirement i want to store element okay i want to store element but there is a two thing my two requirement it it should be it should be preserve insertion order it should be follow insertion order okay the first thing first requirement it should be follow insertion order okay then second requirement it it allow null we, i can store null i can store duplicate value okay if i want to store value null duplicate and it should be follow insertion order then i'll go with list interface okay okay remember i want to store null i want to store uh, null duplicate value and it should be follow insertion order okay then i go with this list interface and here most of time my my frequent operation is a retrieval operation okay i want to retrieve data most of time then this four thing this three thing first thing i want to store in insertion order whatever whatever insertion order i stored only that order i want to get data this first thing then second thing i want if it should be allow null and duplicate okay this second thing and third thing uh, it my frequent operation is the retrieval operation then i go with the list interface okay we will discuss in detail why this list interface for this if you have this requirement then why we go with this list interface okay we will discuss in detail in upcoming videos only this video purpose is a overview of this collection okay this interface this interface why we use we understand then second thing then second requirement i got i want i want some i want execute some uh, element first come first serve okay first come first serve uh, let's consider 
I want to send mail. Okay, I want to send mail. Uh, simply, I put thousand email address in a one, and I want I want send those element first come first serve. Okay, whatever I put those element in a order only that order it should be sent. Okay, then I go with queue interface. Okay, here queue means uh, when you are in real life, we already know in real life people standing in a queue. If any anything they want they want ticket they want any reservation then people standing in a queue whatever which person stand first that person get first chance that which person stand last that person get last chance okay first in first serve okay this introduced in a java 1.5 then we have a set okay now i have a requirement i want to store a data i want to store unique data and there is no there is no any requirement to store any insertion order or follow any uh, insertion order okay then i go with set interface set interface only store a unique data okay it allow null but only one time because uh, if we if we insert a two time null it it consider a duplicate and it store only one time null okay set interface mostly used for a store unique data and it don't follow any insertion order okay, let's check one more time list interface follow insertion order and it can hold a duplicate and null value then queue interface queue interface used for a first come first serve and this third one is a set interface set interface only hold a unique data it, it can't hold a duplicate data okay these three interfaces we have to store our value okay few more interfaces but that different part that map is a different part we will see later that okay we are going to we are now we are going to only see this collection child interface okay in a collection only have a three child interface list queue and set and list queue set have their several child interfaces and their classes okay we can use those implementation implemented class or we can say implementation class for performing those operation in a list we can use array list link list vector and stack those are legacy classes but still we can use those two classes if our requirement is similar to match those classes then we have a queue in a queue uh, we have a dq then blocking queue then priority queue and array dq all this introduced in a java 1.0 version then we have a set in a set we have a hash set then we have a linked hash set then we have a sorted set sorted sorted set mostly used for a sorting data okay we can sort data in a natural order we can or we can sort data in our customized order also okay sorting means we can store data in any ascending or descending order okay there are sorting set then navigable then tree set tree set is the implementation class of this sorting and navigable set okay so here we simply understand what is the collection framework and we understand basic overview of collection framework so in this video that's it we will see next topic in the next video till that bye bye